Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and prepare to witness one of the most heinous, most horrible, most harmful unintended consequences of the renewable fuel standard. The government policy mandating ethanol to be blended into America's fuel supply. What do I hold in my hand? Is it food or is it fuel? While billions all over the world will tell you it's food, the answer has become more complicated. But now, thanks to ethanol mandates, 40% of American corn is now transformed into ethanol fuel. In fact, the total amount of ethanol produced in the United States in 2011 used enough corn to feed 570 million people, more than half of the population of Africa. That's a lot of corn. And when that much corn is taken out of the food supply, a funny thing happens. Supply shrinks, demand increases, and the price only has one direction to go. Since the mandate, ethanol has contributed 10 to 15% of the total rise in food prices. With over 1.2 billion people living on less than $1.25 per day, the consequences are dire. So dire that humanitarian groups have spoken up against the mandate. But this isn't just affecting food supplies on the other side of the world. As the supply of corn continues to be diverted, the cost of food rises at the grocery store. The cost of farm operation goes up as the animal feed prices go through the roof. So why would anyone support this legislative curiosity, this monstrosity of a mandate? Why would anyone want a law that takes 40% of domestic corn crops while raising the price of food the world over? Why indeed? Go to smarterfuelfuture.org to find out more.